Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jocity 4 here, bringing us more Meta 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to game number four of the season. And by the way, this gameplay is quite unique. Let me tell you guys why. My opponent was using the same offensive playbook that I, that I was using, which is the Indianapolis Colts offense. And let me let you guys know a little bit of history about me and this playbook. I've been using this playbook since Madden 13, and everything I call it in, in every single one of my gameplays is original content, original plays. I came up with those plays. I figured I'm, I figured those plays out by myself. Nothing was taken away from an ebook or a YouTuber. All right, before people start speculating that I'm taking plays from other people, I'm not not on my offense only on my defense though my defense is from shocker 360 and dark raven those i don't claim i claim my offense the indianapolis colts offensive playbook is mine i do my plays and if it works i call it in the field several times because i know it fucking works okay just that i just wanted to let you guys know because i know some people are going to start like saying that i copy this youtuber blah blah you know ain't ever gonna happen i come up with my own content so anyways, enough of re-slapping, enough of uh, <laughs> being bad boys out there. Just behave, guys, all right? Moving on to the gameplay. My opponent had Tony Romo in the, as a quarterback. I was like, yeah, this is not going to happen with Tony Romo. <laughs> I ended up stopping him in the third and 17. He ended up punting the ball. On the two, by the way, I ended up calling the halfback screen towards the left side. Got my ass out of there. I was like, yeah, thank you, halfback screen out of the split close. That's going to fucking work all the goddamn time. It's one of the best halfback screens I have. I always get like at least 5 to 10 yards with that play. So anyways, moving on to my next play, 3rd and 7. I couldn't convert. I ended up punting the ball, 3rd and 6 with my opponent. And throws it deep and catches a bullshit catch. Come on, defenders. I mean, you're like right in front of him. And you, yet you can't stop him. Come on, man. And so anyways, as my opponent uses the same plays that I call in sometimes. Um, he ends up uh, scrambling down the middle with Tony Romo. Unbelievable. Does a little bit of a halfback misdirection. And scores a touchdown. I was like, yep, I'm getting owned by my own goddamn playbook. How can this happen? Calling in a little bit of a halfback screen didn't work. Calling in a little bit of a five and out towards the left side and didn't work either because my receiver kept on running and I couldn't score. So anyways, he calls in a halfback, uh, halfback counter and scores again. Now the score is 14-0. to zero. We're losing by 14 points. Third quarter now. I ended up throwing the pass to Reggie Wayne. A miracle catch happens. I was like, yeah, how the hell did I pull that off? If that happens, I know what's going to happen next. Uh, we're going to run down the middle. Marshall Lynch, 10-yard gain right there. Unbelievable. I didn't expect that from a hatback 0-1, uh, especially out of the single back formation. I never called it in out of that formation. Uh, moving on to the next play. Nice conversion right there by Demarius Thomas. And a throw to Reggie Wayne. A miracle catch by Reggie Wayne. I was like, what? the fuck that's supposed to be a pick but i guess so give me the freaking catch and i called in the five and out with cordell patterson he can he doesn't catch it because i know he's a young guy so he's gonna he apparently he was gonna drop it at any point tossing it to the right side calling in my special full house pistol play and he scores a touchdown my fullback scores a touchdown and uh, he ends up calling this play if you guys uh were winding back a little bit i did show my formation when i called this play in myself the play action cold slant i called it in my last drive and it worked for me and then he ends up calling himself which is a play that he hasn't called in the whole game i was really surprised i was like yeah he's gonna start copying me because my plays are working and his are not so i ended up stopping the guy 7 to 14 three in the third quarter one minute and 40 seconds to go and there's the punt. I just wanted to show the punt just in case you guys were wondering if I actually stopped him. So uh, second and eight, calling the I formation that I played that I never called in before. I only called in this play in franchise mode, and it worked for me like at least two times out of the five. And I call it in now, and it works pretty much well against real people. So you might see that play a little bit more often from here on now because it looks like a really good tricky play. Moving on to my next play, a little bit of a fullback fake. <laughs> And let me tell you guys a little bit story of what happened here. I did not call in that play. I wasn't prepared to call in that play. I was I was actually calling in a fullback dive, but I think I accidentally clicked fullback fake dive, and yet that happens. I was like, oh shit, I thought I was gonna be tackled behind the line of scrimmage, but but no, that did not happen. So very lucky I got like all the way to a one yard line with that run. Moving on to my next drive uh, on offense. I ended up stopping the guy, so I ended up back in offense. 14 to 14, 2 minutes and 50 seconds to go. Doug Martin with the baby jukes to the left, and uh, I almost got another juke right there. I wish he'd have it to the right side. I don't know why he juked it into the inside. Come on, there's more fear to the right side. 
called in a little bit of hatback dive and uh, got like 10 yards with Marshall Lynch. A little bit of a hatback counter now with the eye formation. And Doug Martin taking it to the left side and a little bit of a baby juke by Doug Martin. That needs to be in slow-mo. Watch this again. The most nastiest and most ugliest juke of all time made by Doug Martin. It has to be the nastiest one, man. Y'all gotta see that like over and over and over again. I never thought I was gonna pull it off, but it actually worked. Imagine if I had Jamal Charles, man, that shit would have been insane. Anyways, third and 14. This guy calls in that little bullshit pass again. Sack, third and second and 10. Fourth and 18. Let's see what happens. Oh, pick up. Picked off from Rasheed Mathis. Sorry, right there. I caught. I got a little bit of a tongue twisted. Rasheed Mathis picks up the ball. 21 to 14. It's game over. That's it. That's that's actually the end of the game. I just run on the clock. So, my opponent used the same offensive playbook. But yet he couldn't beat me with my own plays. I mean, come on, you know the place I'm calling in. You can you can see him on the right side. You can call him in yourself, see if it works. So um, the, that's what exactly what the guy did. But he doesn't know how I reroute the guys. You know, that's why he couldn't beat me with my own playbook. So and by the way, another thing, another plus. This was a comeback game. I was losing in the first half, fourteen to zero. So believe me, guys, believe it when I say it. I am the underdog of this fucking game. I never thought I was going to win. I actually thought I was like, yeah, I'm going to lose like 21 to fucking 7 or something. But I ended up winning the game. I actually pulled out the great comeback. So if you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe here for more of that. And also for more channel news or NFL news, I mean. And I'm, I'll be talking about Jameis Winston and also about Peyton Manning in the future. So subscribe if you guys want to see that. And also if you guys have got any questions about this gameplay, please let me know in the comment section. I'll answer them later. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more Madden content.